Hey everyone. Okay, so for um, this trip, we're gonna try and do some fun videos that um, kind of take you along for the ride and and help you see what some of the fun aspects of road tripping can be as as a coffee roaster. So the first one we're gonna do is coffee across the interstate. So what? Who has the best coffee on the interstate? We already made a stop. Um, this is the coffee from Spinks, um, and it is the gas station that is literally in the same parking lot as our roasting facility. So we're gonna try this one. Corey's with me. Um, say hey, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna taste test this one. Um, just a note, we did wait uh, about, what, 20 minutes or so, because it was piping hot when we uh, when we first got the, the coffee. Um, so I will make one complaint already uh, because we're grading this um, on taste on presentation and on anything else that I make up as we go along so my first complaint is um, the lid so they only have one style lid and it's the one with the straw and with like the peel back so it's not like a, a coffee specific lid um, so complaint number one before I even try it. Oh, before before I forget, um, when possible, uh, I'm picking the bean to cup uh, machines uh, instead of just the regular drip brewers that have been sitting out all day. And then also um, I pick their the one that they call their signature or their house blend, um, just to try and keep things as consistent as possible. So this is the signature blend uh, from Spinks, and it's a mix of Central and South America beans, and it's a light roast. Um, everything's black, uh, so to try and keep it as even as possible. So here we go. All right. All right. Okay. What do you think? Not I'll great. let you go first. Not great. <laughs> Not great. Put the camera on you and, and talk. Tell, tell, <laughs> them, tell them what you think. Corey's a coffee roaster too, so. So, expert opinions here all around. That sure is coffee. It is coffee. <laughs> okay, I'll go first, and then you can agree with me, uh, because that's how it works. Really weak, like really watery, really, I think, I mean, I get light, but there's, there's really no flavor notes at all. Like, it's just kind of coffee, just a generic. really anything. It I mean, doesn't have much going on. <laughs> uh, so since this is the first one, I don't I don't even know where to start ranking it. So we'll do like one out of five. One rating, out of rating. Five. Okay, so right. I'm, I'm gonna go two. Yeah, two out of five. Two it's caffeinated. Five. It's caffeinated. It doesn't taste not like coffee, <laughs> I guess, which is probably the first step to any coffee is to recognize it as coffee. It um, doesn't have an actively offensive uh, that's fair. It's not bitter and it's not super acidic. So I think like I would expect more acidity from that lighter coffee, but I don't think that's a bad thing that it doesn't have acidity because I think any acidity that this coffee would bring would probably be pretty, yeah. pretty bad. So two out of five. All right, stay tuned. We'll get the next one here in a couple hours. Round two. All right. So for this time, we have quick trip coffee and full transparency, I lied. So last time I said that I was only gonna get the signature blend or the house blend for whichever coffee uh, or whichever gas station that we went to. Um, and then I saw that quick trip has a limited time Kenyan coffee. Um, and the coffee nerd in me could not help but get the Kenyan coffee. So we've got a Kenyan coffee. Corey has the, what did they call it? House signature. I think it was just original. Blend. Original blend. Original blend. So we're going to try the original blend and then we're going to try a Kenyan. This one um, did not come as bean to cup. So this is out of their, just their drip brewer. Um, so we'll start off with first, first takes. Corey, anything to add? First takes. Okay. <laughs> um, mine 
I think it's definitely more full body than the other one that I tried. Um, this one, so this is uh, a Kenyan coffee, so you expect more acidity and more sweetness, or at least I would expect more acidity and more sweetness. I'm getting more sweetness to it, um, and oops, I'll try this one. Here, I'll swap it. <laughs> so that one's pretty typical. Yeah, it's South pretty Central straight. American. I would say it's almost identical to. A little nutty, a little chocolatey. Yeah. It's, it's almost, got more going on than the last cup. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a boring Kenyan, but it is. A, I would, I would be. I think I would say I could recognize it as a, as an African coffee. Yeah. Than, than uh, more so than you know, just a generic coffee. It's I, got the acidity. It is a little vegetal. Yeah. Which is what I'd expect out of a Kenyan. It has that yeah. hint of tomato. <laughs> hint of tomato. That's not one one that I would have come up with. Uh, but uh, yeah. Okay. Cheers, man. Um, yeah, I mean, like you said, I, I think that was just a fairly standard Central and South American blend. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to score them? We'll do yours first. Uh, so the original blend, probably a three out of five. I'm good with three out of five. I'm good with three out of five. How about your opinion? I'm gonna go 3.5. 3.5? Yeah, because I, I think it's a little better than yours. Um, we're, we're setting the bar high. Are we? Uh, gas station coffee. Are we? <laughs> so, I mean, but it's, okay, I'm not judging it against, like, a specialty, I'm, I'm judging it against mm -hmm. my expectations yeah. for, uh, so it's, I mean, what do you think? Yeah, no. 3.5? Cool. Okay. All right. All right. I think that's it for, for Quick Trip. Oh, um, I, I might, you know, I might even give them a 3.75 because they have a double walled, paper cup so the 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 the, um, the sphinx was a styrofoam cup which no no and then this is a double walled paper cup and it has an actual coffee lid which i didn't expect to really have to highlight in this video <laughs> um, but uh we do have a coffee cup and a coffee lid so i i guess that's a plus <laughs> We do need to look up. Yes. It says best cup of coffee in town. Okay. How big is the town? I don't know. And it is. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Give it a go. Yeah. There's a there's a uh, person that validates right there. Yes. <laughs> best cup of coffee in town. We about to we about to find out. Okay. Time for round three of our coffee across the country gas station tour. Because that's a thing apparently. So we're going to try now. Weigels? Weigels? I'm not sure. Correct me, please. Tell me. Um, so I have the signature blend, right? And you have the Kona blend? Yep. Okay. So we're going to give these a try. Um, rate them on our scale of one to five. 
Um, I will note that this company, this gas station, did have the best coffee in town written across their uh, the front of their store. So the bar is set high uh, for this one. So we will see if Weichel's is the best coffee in town. All right, so I'm gonna try mine. I mean, there's, there's just not a whole lot there. I, I don't know, I mean, I guess, there's a little bit of chocolatey sweetness there. I mean, it's not a whole lot. There's no acidity, there's no bitterness. It's fairly just a bland cup, honestly. And I mean, I think that's the theme that we've kind of gotten over the past yeah. couple of coffees. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, Corey, what do you think about yours? You've got the Kona. It is terrible. It is terrible, okay. Hot dishwater. Hot dishwater. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing going on. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna switch. Okay, uh, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna try the hot dishwasher. I mean, oh no. Sorry to color your experience there. No, you're, you're not wrong. No, you're not wrong. I mean, that's pretty styrofoamy, I guess, if, if I had to put a, a flavor. Is that on the, uh, the flavor wheel? Yeah. The totally. sty styrofoamy? Totally. Okay. <laughs> okay. Styrofoamy. That's what we're going with. I don't think that's what they were going for. No. Um, okay. What can I say about this coffee? Uh, I would not get this coffee again. It's it's not very good. I, uh, I dearly hope that the people of this town, I'm not going to say which town it is to not offend anyone. Um, I genuinely hope that there's better coffee in your town than this. If not, give me a call and we'll get you some coffee. Um, because you can do better than this. Uh, rating out of five. I, oh, rating out of five. Well, I will say, lid is a coffee lid. So this is apparently a standard that we have to judge against now. Um, the cup, I think it's a double walled cup. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. It's not hot to the touch, really. Yeah. If it's not double walled. If it's not double walled, it's pretty decent. Um, it's yeah. So um, I would say pretty similar cup. I think I like the Quick Trip cup a little better, the way it was designed, but because uh, this one's a, like a little slick. Um, but uh, overall, cup and lid is apparently okay for coffee. Um, out of 10. Um, okay, so let's start with my... We're doing out of five. Oh, out of five. <laughs> out of five, I already forgot. Um, out of five. So start with the original blend. Start with the original blend, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go two and a half because I think it was better than the Spinks one that we first tried, uh, but it was certainly not as good as the Quick Trip original blend. So, you give it two and a half? Yeah, two and a half sounds about right. Okay, what about yours? The Kona blend? The Kona, the, co the dishwater Kona. Oh gosh, 0.5. 0.5, okay, 0.5. I, I also will go with 0.5, I, I think it, that's a fair. It gets 0.5 for being caffeinated, but that's all it's gonna go I mean, do it. we even know? Like, are we 100% sure that that's <laughs> actually coffee? Because this is the, that's the first one that I will say, I'm not sure that that's actually coffee. <laughs> um, okay, regardless, 0.5. So that is the lowest current score. I really hope that we don't get anything less than 0.5 because I really don't want to taste that Kona again. Um, and now current leaderboard is the Kenyan from Quick Trip is our number one. Um, and then I think the signature from Quick Trip is our number two. Yeah. Right? So Quick Trip, you're doing good. Just keep it up and we'll touch base with you when we have our next coffee. Alright, so last and but certainly not least for today, we have Bucky's Coffee! Bucky's! <laughs> I love Bucky's. It is a wonderland for both adults and children. And they have coffee, so we're gonna try it. So here we go. gas station it's Bucky's gas station coffee but I will I will give it to you I mean it I don't think it's better or worse than any well it's not definitely not worse than the Kona coffee definitely not I, I like I'm, I think I'm like solid mid-range maybe like a three 2.75 what do you think I, I'm a little biased because it is Bucky's and I love Bucky's I give it a two 
A two. A two. A two. Oh. She, she, didn't even, she didn't even take a picture with the beaver. She didn't even take a picture with Bucky. <laughs> she didn't embrace the entire experience. Okay. <sighs> it's got a little nuttiness to it. It's a little over roasted. I see what you're saying. It's got the burnt aftertaste. The drying milk. I'm going to go 2.5. Alright. I'm going to go 2.5. I came down from a 3. I'll we'll, go to, we'll, we'll agree to disagree on okay. this one. Okay. All right. You go two. I go two point five. Okay. <laughs> so, the winner for today, and I probably the winner for the tournament because we're probably not going <laughs> to find any more. It's been a lot of gas station coffee, and just quite frankly, it's just not that great. So, the winner is uh, the Quick Trip Kenyan. So go get your cup, self a cup of that, if you're in desperate need of caffeine, and see a Quick Trip. Um, other than that, I mean, I guess they serve their purpose. I mean, what do you think? Like, what's your overall impression after tasting four different types of gas station coffee? Like, what? I'll, keep, I'll keep packing my own. Okay, you'll keep packing your own. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I think that's fair. So it I think, gets the job done if you need it. I, it does. I don't think I would rely on it for something to enjoy sipping down the highway, but maybe just bring your own from home. And if you get desperate, I don't know. Pick up a bag from Cold Blooded Caffeine. Yeah, there you go. Make your own. There you go. All right. Well, that is that is our trip across the country gas station coffee expedition. Hope you enjoyed the video. And go to www.coldbloodedcaffeine.com for some great coffee. Um, if you're at Tinley Park this weekend, we hope, you see, we hope to see you there. Uh, of course, you won't see it by the time this video comes out, but hope you guys check in and say hey. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.